going on guys and I'm back to another video in this one. Well, my phone's about to die soon, that's okay. I'm going to be showing you how to build a Taco Bell with an interior. Now, quick announcement, or well, a couple quick announcements. One, I have a new pet, Skittles, I after this one, if my phone is not dead. And second thing, second, I have made her an Instagram. It is Skittles Eat Chinchilla. Yeah. <laughs> If you would like, you can follow that as I show you my good old Taco Bell. It's a very brick building. I must say. Coming inside, we have the kitchen, the seating areas, a lot of seats. Also the drive through window because that's a thing. And both bathrooms, which I did not label because I didn't really feel like it. Okay, the space you would use a 20 by 18. Ugh, my sister just texted me something funny. And you actually need 10 materials. I will list nine of, or I will list all 10, but get the first nine. So they will be bricks, magenta concrete, blue concrete, yellow concrete, acacia door, black stained glass block, wherever it is. Black concrete. Um, black stained glass panes. And spruce slabs. And the other one you will be needing is quartz slabs. So 20 by 18 grid, start at the far left hand corner, cut inwards diagonally by one, and place six bricks going right. Now move backwards by one, left by two with acacia doors. There should be gray concrete under them. They're, they're, pardon me, not left with the acacia doors the, to the right. And then right with another 10 bricks. Now move backwards with 15. And move across the back of the bill with 18, right? No, 17. And connect forward. There was your grid, this is a lot of brick and yep, if you play in survival, then that's a lot of clay. Okay. You want to extend this, these blocks right here, all of these, you want to extend up by 11. I believe that that is correct. That appears to be correct. Let me just check. Yeah, that's correct. Now extend five rows. These five rows moving backwards. 11 blocks tall as well. So you should have a perfect square from this and you can actually bring this back right one left and connect forward and that is a perfect square now you can extend the oh god you can extend i believe it's three no you want to extend all these here down by two and you can fill in this top You can get one of your acacia doors and get out quartz slabs and rim the top of this. Just like that. Now, come to the top row and on this block right here, which is based to the left of the middle one, and you want to go, and you want to... Go down with three magenta concrete. Uh, no, you want to be on the second block down and go down by three magenta concrete, like this. 
but the second one that you placed right by one, and the third one that you placed right by two and left by one. Now bring both of the, now bring the one to the very right and the very left down diagonally by one towards the outside. And now bring it down diagonally by one towards the inside and connect together. Going left to right in this open gap, place blue concrete, yellow concrete, two blue. Just like that. There is your Taco Bell logo. Now come to this front right hand corner and place three bricks. Connect these to the connect this to the left. And you can connect it to the back right corner. Fill in these four rows in front of this here with bricks, I think. I'm like pretty sure. Yeah, I just had to double check. Now these two open gaps, you have to fill in with black stained glass block on the front and the right. Almost said left. Now you're gonna place four rows of black concrete, starting from here, going to the right side, and stopping on this last black stained glass block. You're gonna place four rows of this. <coughs> Excuse me, I just mm, have a little bit of a sore throat question mark. And on top of that, you could place a row of bricks. Just like this. From the remaining part of this right side, the back portion with bricks to the same height. Just like this. Now, start at this half slab, this row here. And you want to place spruce slabs going all the way to the back, or going all across the front and stopping at this row here. Now you're gonna do this with spruce slabs every half block. Just like this. This adds a cool modern touch and I think it looks pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think about it. You also want to place one half row above the brick, and then that's where you are going to want to stop. So this is the last row. Oops. Now you want to fill the entire back to this height with brick. I do not have any windows on the back. If you would like to add some, feel free. However, I do not feel that there is a good spot for them because this is where the kitchen and the bathrooms are. No one wants windows in the bathrooms. So that, let's just face it. Now, come to the front here. And this, see this row of bricks? You want to go backwards and place two black side glass or one black stained glass pane with one on top of it. Leave a one block gap, place another black stained glass pane with another one on top, and connect to the back with bricks. Just like that. Now fill in the rest of this wall with bricks. Excuse me, till you get to the height of this. To the, the height of the back. So, yeah, that is how we want to do this. And we are moving along quickly. Gonna place quartz slabs above the drive through window, just like that. Now once you have done that, you want to fill the roof with brick. Surprise, surprise. And, yeah. We are literally cruising on this. I feel like this is quick. Now, 
for this next part, I'm just gonna point this out. You can use. Okay, and make sure my mic my mic was working. You can use whatever floor material you would like. I have picked great card, great spoiler alert. That's just what I think. Pick whatever you really want. It honestly does not matter. So yes, I do really like this Taco Bell design, by the way. I think it's very modern. And that's the exterior complete. Now, clear your inventory for the interior. We will be getting the materials for the floor, the roof, and the bathrooms and some wall foundation stuff so you will be needing bricks no surprise there glowstone lanterns birch doors and gray concrete gray concrete quartz stairs birch trap doors stone buttons and you can also get out cauldrons now we don't have enough for all the bathroom which is sad but come inside and i'm actually gonna get rid of the cauldrons for now so i can get night vision so you guys can so you're gonna want to break the floor and replace it with gray concrete wow that's too late So yeah, let's talk about Skittle, shall we? So, yeah, I've told two of my teachers and they're both like, they both want to see pictures. So that's always nice. Um, she is a generic chinchilla, whatever that means. She's like a normal everyday chinchilla. And yeah, so I am excited. To have to take care of this thing for like, mm, what, 20 years maybe? Ah, well, birthday tw February 28th. What's my phone at? It's, it's been at 11% this whole video. That is ridiculous. I don't understand how you do this. Okay. Come to this last row of brick here, and you want to fill in the roof at this line with brick. Before the black concrete begins, and then it'll eventually end, but you know, you can't really see that. And again, don't, doesn't every block. I'm not just building in a certain direction unlimitedly. Or is it? I mean, actually it could be. That would be one long building or road. Oh, there's my low battery. Ah, finally went down a percent. So that, that, that's a thing. You guys should invest in chillos. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Also, yesterday was Mr. Squidward's birthday and I completely forgot about that. So happy third birthday to him. I should make him an Instagram, but then again, my Instagram would be pretty much pointless. So, yeah. Okay. Once you have done that, you can make it a four block ceiling if you'd like. However, I have it on the three block in the original. And come to this front block here and you want to, the, this block, the, the first b full brick wall on the right side and you want to go 
Because he left in place one brick, one birch door, three bricks, one birch door, two bricks, and connect to the wall. And this three can connect the middle one back to the wall. There are two three by three bathrooms. Bring the walls up to the ceiling. inside and in the middle block you want to break it of break you want to break it and replace it with glowstone so once you have done that you can place a cord stair with a birch trap door on top and a stone button to the left and the center middle back thingy now get rid of everything for now and you want to get out cauldrons, which you should have had, water bottles, and levers. And place them in the f place the cauldron with water in it, and the lever flick down in the corner. Doesn't matter which one. Now get out signs. I will pick oak. And you want to m write men and women on there. As you can see, whenever I type W or M, it really knows what I, what I mean. It, here it doesn't. Complete. That, that's interesting. <laughs> okay. Once you have done that, you want to take this front piece here and you want to bring it back. And you want to connect it to this, however, leave a one block gap and place a spruce trap door in it. Take out lanterns and place one above the trap door in the center here al and along the side here and in this back corner. Now, once. Now, here, if I drink some milk. It's pretty lit, and I can also put a light back here. Now, for the kitchen, let me get the pick tour. You will be needing a block of iron, iron door, polished and insight, tripwire hooks, cyan terracotta. Stone brick stairs, furnace, jungle trap doors, oops, and you can also get a cauldron or three. Now in this front corner here, you're going to place two iron blocks with an iron door in front. Place polish and insight going across, and it will want to stop at this block right here. You can place five tripwire hooks here and place cyan terracotta. You're gonna have to remove that lantern. Sorry, lantern. And when you when you stop, you can place a furnace with a jungle trap door on top. Now place two polished and in sight, a cauldron, two polished and in sight, turn, two polished and in sight, and five cauldrons. Now to finish off the kitchen, get out water bottles f potions of fire resistance if i can find them anywhere there they are and a lever now place water in the lonesome cauldron with the lever flipped down and in these other five place potions of fire resistance and just like that not too dark for you guys real quick but let's get out of materials you will need Blue stairs, oak fence, brown carpet, and cauldrons. Now place the cauldron in the back and front of right hand corners. I'm gonna get out, no I won't get out night vision. And you wanna place two spruce wood stairs and place two, two, get, two blocks away. And keep doing these back to back until you are there. We have a one block app in place, two more, and another one block app in place. Two more stairs, and yes. You will want to have... Oops. This many tables. You want to kind of have this. Place fences in between them all with brown carpets on top of them.
Now it might be looking a little bit dark, which it kind of is, but you know what? I, I, I hey, I have a solution. Above every table, just in a random block, you're going to want to place a lantern, and this will really light up the place and also make it look nicer. Just like that. There you go. Now this place is also very lit. And that is actually all for this tutorial. Actually, I forgot one thing. Hang on. Stone brick stairs. And you just want to place a couple along the edge here. I don't know why I forgot that, but I did. And now that is all for this tutorial. Hopefully you got did enjoy this video as I saved this into the playlist as... Or playlists as a usual. Where is it? Have a fantastic rest of your day or night, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. All of these buttons are wrong.